Okay, instance and type parameters. They certainly do behave differently. Here's how we have to look at these two types of parameters. An instance parameter will only affect the object or objects you currently have selected. These parameters show up immediately on the properties dialog once an item is selected. A type parameter can be accessed only when you select an item and click Edit Type. Any modification to a type parameter will change all instances of a specific family type, if it's selected or not. All right, let's just take a look. Under Models, I'm going to go New. This time I want to actually use the architectural template. Let's click OK. On the Architecture tab, click the Wall button. I'm going to draw a wall like that. Hit Escape a couple times. Click the Door button. Single flush, 36 by 84. We know that 36 by 84 is what? It's a type. That's okay. We'll just put that one in. Pick a point like right here. Hit Escape a couple of times. Now, select this door. Let's copy it. So now we have two single flush 36 by 84. Hit Escape a couple of times. Let's click the Tag button, uncheck Leader, pick that door, pick that door. Hit Escape a few times. Okay. Select door number one, single flush 36 by 84. But check out the properties right here. These properties, if altered, are only going to modify the door we have currently selected. Door number two will not be affected by it, even though it's identical. Single flush, 36 by 84. Well, we know all doors are not identical. At least the mark of the door will be different. For example, if I scroll down in my instance parameters, notice that the mark is one. That's only for this one door, so let's make it 101. Hit enter, and that door is 101. Door number two is not modified. We can add frame material, finish, frame type. All of these are purposely built in to be instance parameters. Now, single flush 36 by 84, if we click Edit Type, anything we change here is going to modify that door. So the height is 7 feet. All of these items. So if the trim width wants to be 6 inches, I don't know what that's going to do to it. That's going to change both of these doors because they're both single flush 36 by 84. The door panel material, the door frame material, these can change as well. This will change both of these doors if we change these. Click Apply. Click OK. Hit Escape a couple times. Now go ahead and select a door. Let's take a look at the family since we're talking about families. Click Edit Family right here. Notice that under Properties, we have Family Types. Go ahead and click Family Types. Now, it looks like all of these parameters are type parameters. I know that because I don't see the word default after any of these. So if I wanted to make materials and finishes, I want the frame material to be an instance parameter. I'm going to select Frame Material. I can either delete the parameter, I can make a new parameter, or I can edit this parameter. I'm going to edit the parameter. Notice that here I'm going to make it an instance parameter. I'm going to click OK. Notice that it says Frame Material Default. Click OK. Click Load into Project and Close. Do not save the changes. I'm going to overwrite the existing version. Now I'll select Door 101. Notice that under Materials and Finishes, Frame Material, this door frame, is only going to be for this door and this door alone. So there you go. Now you know the difference between a type and an instance parameter.